Last week, someone found a suspicious package on the campus of Homeland Park Primary School in Anderson County. Now parents there are trying to bring attention to other safety issues. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is just back from that meeting with more. Ann. Gordon, several dozen people were there tonight, including the sheriff, drug investigators, county council members, and school officials. They say this school means a lot to their community, and they want to do everything they can to protect the kids there. Sean Blakely's daughter just graduated from Homeland Park, and her grandson is a rising kindergartner there. It's just the concerns of the safety of our kids. She and other parents say they're worried about abandoned buildings and drug use surrounding the campus. Walter Lanier is a graduate of the school and a parent of a student there. He's been working to clean up the area with the Homeland Park Community Watch. We're looking at securing the grounds a little more and uh, trying to get rid of some of the properties in the area and, and work from there and see what, see what avenues we could take to better the community. According to county council members, there are more than 100 abandoned properties nearby. Neighbors say these homes lead to bigger problems. We have drugs, drugs, drugs in our community that we would love to get cleaned up. Issues have spilled onto campus over the summer. A man was spotted sitting on the roof one night. Another man went onto school property to plug in his phone and was charged with stealing electricity. It cost about $10,000 to demolish one condemned property, according to local officials. Council members say they are applying for hundreds of thousands of dollars of grants to tear down blighted structures. It makes me feel good and know that something is about to be done. For parents like Blakely, having this kind of attention on their neighborhood school gives them hope that things are going to change. We're praying for better and I can see it happening. The district superintendent said he would look into putting a tall barbed wire fence around the playgrounds. Gordon. That's quite a step. And according to the principal, custodians, the school resource officer, scan the grounds every day looking for anything suspicious. Three